DJ 53rd Annual Lord's Passover. 53rd Annual Lord's Passover is going to be held down here in Florida. It's going down. You're here tonight to get a chance to be righteous enough to be worthy of God. Come on to save you. That's right. It's going down. The Lord's 53rd Annual Passover. When we say we no coward, we stop that business. We no cowards up in here. Book your hotels now at the Holiday Inn Express and Suites. The IHG Hotel, 301 Tucker Lane, Cocoa Beach, Florida, 32926. Pass with all your dishes, pots, and sports knives. I gotta like this. This is like an apartment room. And a hotel room. You know what I mean? This here right here is about to be holy ground. This is gonna be holy ground. All our beautiful, wonderful brothers and sisters from all over the world. You understand? We can boast that now. Brothers and sisters coming not only from this every state, but from all over the world. I heard the numbers this year is ridiculous. We had to buy out the whole hotel. Friday, April 15th at the Space Coast Convention Center. This is going to be glorious. glorious. And they ask him, how do I know whether or not the Jews are black? Well, it's real simple. The Bible says, if any man speak, let him speak as the old fools of God. First Peter 4 and 11 say that. Now give me um, Jeremiah 14 and 2. I'm going to show you, black man, that you are the real Jew of the Bible, and not them people claiming to be Jews. And, and after that, you're going to get me Revelation 2 and 9. All right? It's just simple. That's all you got to do is prove things. You know what I'm saying? That's like, like, the, the, like the old saying goes, the proof is in the what? The pudding, right? So, so we're going to show you the proof, right? Jeremiah 14 and 2. Okay? Come on, get it? And it's just simple the case of every black and Hispanic and Native American Indian who in fact are the biblical and ethical Hebrew Israelites. That's why we are here, to make our people wake up and understand that our enemy hates us. All right? We. Come on, come. This is the book of Jeremiah 14, verse 2. Judah, morning. Now Judah is talking about the so-called Negro. So the witch Christ come out of that tribe, all right? Judah, morning. Why Judah, morning? Because he's always the first five. He's always the last high. He's always the one that's being shot in the street most of the time. He's always looked down upon. You know what I'm saying? He's the most, most incarcerated besides the other tribes. Black and brown people are filling up these jails left and right, like it's going out of style. And while we going into jail, they profit. They get big. Off of our demise, off of our torture, off of our torment. They make every drop of pain like Victoria's Secret, the store like Victoria's Secret. All their clothing come out of black and brown people in prison, making them uniforms, making them um, um, panties and so on and so forth. McDonald's uniforms are made in prison. There's a whole lot of things made in prison by black and brown people. But it says Judah morning, read. And the gates there are language. Reason is it saying the gates there are language and gates are used for protection. You own a home that protects your household. You keep things that you don't, or people that you don't want on your property. You go into their neighborhoods, their, their neighborhoods are gated. And they make sure that nobody steps on their property. They got the cameras here and there. They got a 911 on speed dial just in case if they see anybody black or brown that they don't like, they'll hit that 911. But in this right here, the gates is representing our leadership who's supposed to be protecting us, such as Jesse Jackson, such as Reverend um, Al Sharpton, such as T.D. Jakes, such as all those leaders. Of course, like the Bible says also, the wicked flee when no man pursue it. 
That's you understand? Right. But you gotta get a good education, black man. Oh here, Latino Native American Indian man. Breathe. They are black! They are what? They are black! What is the so-called Jew looking like? They are black! Tell that letter. B L A C K. There you go, Mr. Jewish man. The real Jews are black. The so-called Negro in America, the so-called African American. You are the real Jews of the Bible. And right. you got the greatest king on the face of the earth. He right. was a black man in the world called Jesus Christ. According to the Bible, the real Jesus Christ has an afro. That's the real right. Jesus Christ has dark skin. You understand? Not that abomination that they hold up in church so big with blonde hair and blue eyes. That's not the real Jesus. You understand? Now, get me a revelation. Chapter 2 and verse 9. Now, if you don't believe what we're teaching here, how about we let Jesus Christ tell you out of his own words about the so-called Jewish man. Read. Oh, God. It's the book of Revelations. 2, ch chapter 2, verse 9. In the way, I know thy works. One more, again, one more time. I know thy works. This is Christ. He's saying, I know thy works. Go ahead. And tribulation. He's talking to his people, blacks and Latinos and Native American Indians. He's saying he know our, our words. He's saying how, how we slaving in this country and the troubles with that's the word tribulation. The troubles that we actually are going through, black man and Latino and Native American Indians. He knows these things, but free. And poverty. And the poverty. Nobody could tell you about poverty life except us blacks and Latinos and Native American Indians. Yes, there might exist poverty in other countries, but we've been in captivity for the past 400 plus years. Still in the ghetto, still on the res, still in the barrio, still at the bottom, still trying to get a come up and don't get no type of come up because of our leadership. Our leadership ain't dealing with these words the right way. But Christ know our poverty. Christ know how, 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 how our poverty stricken we are. We broke. We don't have ends like that. Read. But thou art rich. God said, Christ said, that we are rich. Why? Because this Bible was written for you, black man, and the Spanish man, and Native American Indian man. This Bible promises us a kingdom under a black king to the which we get to govern the planet Earth, man. Those are rich. Those are some of the riches we're going to get. But we got to turn to the Lord to get the full benefit package. Because without the Lord, blacks and Latinos and Native American Indians won't get this full benefit package. Read. And I know the blasphemy. And he says he also knows the blasphemy. What is blasphemy? A disgusting, filthy lie. And I know the blasphemy of them which they are, that say they are Jews. I said he knows the blasphemy of them that say that they are Jews. The Jewish man go around crying and bickering all Holocaust and sin and anti-Semitic and this and that, right? But he ain't the real Jew. And Christ even telling us this right now. I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews and are what? And or not. And are what? And or not. And are what? And or not. They are not the real Jews of the Bible. That's right. The real Jews of the Bible are these blacks and Hispanics and Native American Indians. That's you right. understand? Right. Namely the tribe of Judah, because Jew comes from the word Judah. It's a slang. Namely the so-called Negroes. You so-called Negroes are the real Jews of the Bible. That's right. Blacks and Hispanics and Native Indians. We are the real Israelites of the Bible. And Christ here let us know that those people claiming that they are Jews are not the Jews. But here's what they are. But are the synagogue of Satan. Are the synagogue of what? Of Satan. What? Of Satan. The people that will be up in them synagogues worshiping, I don't know what the hell, and all kinds of abomination really are the synagogue of Satan. That's this right. is what a black man by the name of Jesus Christ just feeling te just finished teaching us. Them people that are saying that they Jews are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. You understand? Color is throughout the Bible. You understand? Don't let nobody, black and Hispanic or Native American Indian man, tell you that the color is not in the Bible. I gave you two examples of many examples I can pull right now. 
I can go into Job. I can go to the wisdom of the songs of Solomon. I can go all over the Bible, showing that the Israelites were many shades of brown, from your darkest to your lightest shade of brown. You understand? And these people up in the synagogue are not the real Jews. You understand? They want us to remember their heart. It wasn't, what was it called the other day? Uh, national or International Holocaust. Remember his name? That was the other day. They want the whole planet to remember that. But no, but they, <clears throat> them people don't want black, um, they don't want to talk about all the crimes done to black people. All the, all the crimes done to the Native Indians, all the Latinos. That never get put on the table at any time. That is irrelevant in American society, fortunately. Because the Lord loves people so much. He got the ISUPK on the commanding general of Honda coming out here right, and, re right. and remembering of our forefathers of what we went through in this empire. This American empire hates blacks and Latinos and Native American Indians. You got to understand. If you don't understand, wait till that next bullet. Wait till the next news that you hear. Like that brother, what's his name? Amir Locke. Wait till that next somebody wake up in the middle of the night because somebody entered into a property under a uh, uh, what they call that type of warrant? Um, uh, um, the no life warrants. And killed, and killed, and killed Amir Locke. And of course, our pressure to them is always co comedy. Shalom, Israel. It's that time again. The week of Passover is packed with exciting events. Hosted by the ISUPK and Commanding General Yohanan. On Tuesday, a deep sea fishing trip with the generals. Arrival and boarding time at 7.30 a.m. The boat leaves at 8 a.m. sharp. Then on Wednesday, April 13th, join us for the annual lamb slaughter from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. Making sure the children of Israel have fresh lamb for the Passover. Then, after that, the ISUPK is having a fish fry from 4 p.m. until, which will lead to the scripture breakdown class with General Mahayim. Then, on Thursday morning, Hebrew Academy participants will see if they have what it takes to endure the Hebrew Academy trials. Commanding General Yohanan has something special lined up for the children with a children's party from 10.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Come join Commanding General Yohanan on Coco Beach as we renew our oath unto the Lord. By a hotel ballroom, all black and Hebrew Academy dinner from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. And then on Friday, April 15th at 5 p.m., join us for the Lord's annual Passover as commanded in the scriptures at 5 p.m. sharp. On Saturday, April 16th, the Feast of Unleavened Bread. That's right, we're going to keep the Feast of Unleavened Bread from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Commanding General Yohanan has it all lined up for you, Israel. Come keep the Lord's Passover. Shalom.